Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notification for more tech tips and tricks. Today, we're tackling a common issue you might encounter with your Apple ID. The, your request could not be completed at this time error. If you're seeing this message and need help fixing it, you're in the right place. So let's dive into the solutions. First, let's start with the basic fix, restarting your device. Sometimes a simple restart can resolve temporary glitches. To do this, press and hold the power button until the slider power off appears and slide to power off and wait a few seconds and then turn your device back on by holding the power button again. If restarting your device doesn't work, the next step is to check Apple's system status page to see if there's an ongoing issue with Apple's servers. Visit Apple system status and look for any disruptions related to Apple ID or iCloud. If Apple servers are operational, the next step is to ensure you're using the correct Apple ID and password. Sometimes errors occur due to incorrect login information. Go to settings, tap on your name at the top and then select password and security. You might want to change password to reset if you're unsure. If you've verified your Apple ID information and the problem still persists, try signing out and back in. Go back to your settings, tap on your name, scroll down and select sign out. After signing out, sign back in with your Apple ID and check if the issue is resolved. Lastly, if you're still experiencing issues, contacting Apple support may be your best bet. They can provide additional assistance and diagnose any underlying problems with the Apple ID. And that's it. I hope these steps help you resolve the year request could not be completed at this time error Apple ID.